Hi guys, and before you watch the next video, I just wanted to mention a new thing that we've got on AJ, the player channel, the YouTube channel. So in answer to a lot of your comments, we need to invest in some new equipment and we need to get to some new places to bring you some even better content. And I thought what better way of doing that than opening up a Patreon account or Patreon account from where you are in the world. If you would like to donate and help us to get bigger and better and bring you better quality videos, then just go to the home page on AJ the Player, the YouTube page. If you're on a PC, it's very simple. I've already put the link up and you can either donate a single amount. I'm not worried even if it's a single pound. It doesn't matter. It's all going to help. Or you can do donate a regular amount as well. If you're on a, a phone or a tablet, it's slightly different. You have to just scroll across until you come to the About section. And that there will have the two links. It's got a PayPal link and the Patreon link. Guys, thanks for your support. We're doing our best to bring you the best quality videos possible. Enjoy the next video. Hi guys, welcome back to the Player YouTube channel. And today, we're gonna to do something rather special. In actual fact, this is the first time in our existence we have done something like this. Because today, we're gonna to be taking a look around a 5.2 million pound mansion. It doesn't get much better than this. This is a proper crib. Follow me, let's go and see what you get for your money. This is nothing short of wow factor. And this is very much, I think, more of a man's house. And that's probably why it is the first one in our showcase of who would live in a house like this. And it is mostly for men because that's what we're all about. You're probably wondering why I'm standing here with this thing. Well, to be honest, this controls the entire house. So I need to walk around with it because it does the lights, it does the heating, and it will even turn on the sauna, the steam room, and the, uh, the swimming pool downstairs. This is the first of four reception rooms. They're lovely and big, they're lovely and bright, they're lovely and airy. Just kind of look around a few more. So the house has no less than three floors and they're all connected by this fantastic leather clad staircase. It's absolutely incredible. It's got six bedrooms upstairs, which we're gonna look at in a minute. Each of them has got an ensuite. Check it out, it's amazing. So reception room two is the dining room and we're better to entertain your guests than underneath a quarter of a million pound crystal chandelier. So just a stone's throw away from the dining room is naturally the kitchen, because this is where you're gonna prep all your food for your guests. Um, you've got this wonderful breakfast bar here, and over here, look, what a wonderful wine fridge for keeping your beers in. You've got a couple of ovens here, there's a microwave, and my favorite thing of all, I love built-in coffee makers, don't you guys? It's just something about them. You've got your sinks, you've got your hobs, and around here is a place where you do your washing for your dirty undies. It's called the utility room. Let's go and check out the other reception room. So after you've had your lovely dinner, which you cooked in your lovely kitchen, you can come and sit in your lovely reception room number two. Look at this, it's got a fire, it's got a lovely place to sit and someone's stolen the TV. It was here when we got here, weren't me. So if you're entertaining someone special, you want to bring them in here because this is your second dining room. And this is a little bit more formal. It's got a little bit more sort of uh, je ne sais quoi about it. I do like it. It's got another fireplace as well. And there ain't a TV in here, so you can't really watch telly while you're eating dinner. Okay, let's uh, check it out in the basement down here. Guys, it's a little bit dark down here, even though we've put in the uh, maximum lighting. But because this is the cinema room, you don't really want it bright. You don't want it blowing in your eyes and wow, what a room we've got here. You've got the projector up here. You've got a mahoosive screen over there. And this place really for chilling out either on your own or with some friends is probably one of the best rooms in the house. I absolutely love it in here. OK, 
space, so directly accessible from your cinema room if you get a little bit bored watching a movie. We've got the pool table, and if I was living here, I'd probably have a dartboard maybe and a small bar somewhere in here as well. But no less, what a lovely room. One of the biggest selling points of this house has to be this amazing indoor pool down in the basement. But not only do you get the swimming pool around here, you get an absolutely stunning area to entertain yet again, your bar. Yet another place to entertain is your personal sauna. And for those of you that can't take the heat in the sauna, you can chill out in the steam room. In this house, you even get your own personal gym. You also get your own massage room. So as you ascend this lovely staircase, yet again, we come up to floor one. And on this floor, there are no less than four bedrooms, including the master suite. Let's go and check it out. The master suite, it lives up to its expectations. It's fantastic. Look at that view out there, these massive sort of floor to ceiling windows. You've got the balcony out there, You've got a lovely big bed, but all the furnishings, all the soft furnishings and the wallpaper, nothing has been left to second class here. It's all top first class. You've got a lovely private dressing room here, which I'm walking through now. And in here is your ensuite. And the reason I've brought you in the ensuite is because, check it out, You've got your very own TV mirror, which is currently playing something I don't know. Anyway, we'll turn that off. There you go, look at that. You get your own remote as well. I'll put that up there. Like little bits and pieces, like the quality of these bowls. They're almost cut glass, lovely shelving. Look at the bath. I mean, that's a bath, isn't it? It's a brilliant bath if you're under five feet tall. So if you've got a very small wife, it would be perfect. In here, you've got a very high shower, so you get that rain shower effect. It comes right off from the ceiling there. And it is very much a walk-in thing in here. I'm really loving this house. So in addition to the master suite, on this floor, you get a further three bedrooms, and each one has its own ensuite. You check out that now. So in one of the ensuites, you actually get a shower with a TV. So, when all's said and done, you get to the very top floor in this house, we come to yet another two bedrooms, and each one of them has got en suites. But that's what I want to show you, because this particular bedroom here is the bedroom that I absolutely love the en suite with, because not only do you get a nice double bed, you get, again, floor-to-ceiling doors and a little uh, Romeo and Juliet balcony out there, whatever they call it. But round here, you've got the dressing room, Wait for it, guys, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. The dressing room is neither here nor there. You get a bath with its own mirror TV, aqua TV, but here it is, look at this. This is what I call a shower with a view. You've got floor to ceiling, you've got your balcony, you've got your shower here, and the only thing between you and the outside world is a piece of glass. So there you have it, guys. It's a 5.2 million pound crib. What a place, a super crib, a super mansion, and it could be yours. And if you don't want to buy it, well, you can rent it as well because it is available for 40,000 UK pounds per month. If you're interested in either, don't forget, there's a comment section down below. Leave a comment and I'll pass it on to the current owners, and I'm sure they'll be in touch with you as soon as possible. You've been watching me, AJ the Player. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you like what you're watching, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of what we do, then don't forget you can subscribe as well. And if you want to get regular updates, don't forget, leave that little bell sign unchecked. Otherwise, you'll never know when we put up videos. And we do at least two a week. There's also a free bookazine for you. You're probably saying, what's a bookazine? Well, a bookazine is something we produce because we're a much bigger product. We're not just AJ the Player, the YouTube channel. We are part of the player. And if you look down here now, it's coming in. There it comes, www.theplayer.co.uk. Go there, stick an email in. You can have a free 200 page bookazine designed for us guys. It's got golf in there, it's got hotels, it's got cars, boats, you name it. It's everything us guys absolutely love. And don't forget, if you do want to help us and donate just a little bit, then use the Patreon link either, as I mentioned, at the front of the AJ the Player YouTube, or you can literally go on the About Us and it was, if there's a link there, you'll find it. You've been watching me, AJ the Player. I'm out of here. I'll catch you next week, hopefully, with something as gorgeous as this house.